that's fine. Of course, that does mean I'm going to have to stream Bloodborne at some point in the near future so I can finish the run. So maybe in another week or two. Farewell, Simon. Thanks for the bow. And I'm pretty sure L2 can actually do pretty well against the Beast Hide Phantom. A good friend up here. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't go for parries if that opportunity presents itself. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, he already let it, so. I'm not sure if it would knock him over anymore. So we just go for his... Like so. It knocks him back, it doesn't knock him over when he has the lead elixir on. I guess. Round one of this champ down. <laughs> the first time it's gone smoothly in a couple of rounds. Usually the later ones go fine. That's the later one most of the time. Okay, I don't want to accidentally jump into a building. And our jump attack is still killing him in one hit, so might as well keep doing that. Is that guy aggroed? No. Typically, guys will come across the bridge, but not always. I've never had a fight happen over here before. These trees look like they're massive uh, ships, but they aren't. <laughs> Got a word mount. Ah, uh, another kin cold blood. Down. I only have like 60 of those. I'm just gonna run past everything this time. We 
because the the intro there goes relatively well because the AI, AI will actually aggro you across the bridge, but if you come at it from the other direction, you will aggro both simultaneously and have to deal with the lightning bullshit. So, instead of that, we just run past them and go to the ladder. Which you can take damage on. Do a vertical swing on this weapon, it should help us hit the vulnerable part of these enemies, but they're not super dangerous anyway. Good. That ghost freaked me out a little bit, but it is doing exactly the same thing I'm about to do. Getting all the fine notes makes me feel like I'm a part of the community, which is kind of nice. Doesn't happen with great frequency if you don't play the game around launch, of course. He's not going to spawn until we go a little bit further in the hallway. Okay. Now we just bum rush him. Even if it doesn't knock him over, it at least negates his attack. And opens him up. So we're just gonna get the blood rock and then come back, and then I gotta go set up gems and stuff. If we die, that's no big deal. Ah, uh, I almost forgot to uh, open the shortcut first. That would have been bad. With this amount of frenzy resistance, there's... Okay, we're just dead. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> I'm pretty shocked we didn't die there, but okay, I'll take it. We're probably still gonna die on the way back. Uh, unless I can get a hunter's mark off. 
She might as well try. The problem is the lightning will most likely interrupt it. Yeah, nothing we can do about that. And of course on the way back we'll die too, Frenzy. It's an interesting looking uh, set of scaffolding, if you look at all of it at once like that. I think that is where we came from too. Alright, I guess I'll do my due diligence and actually try to... Due diligence? Is that what I said? Oh, that's gonna hit us. And that's gonna hit us as well. We did it. It's a miracle. Spending 16 blood vials in the process. <laughs> it's okay though. Now we can fight the orphan.